tagging data shows that there are at least two separate populations of Atlantic bluefin tuna. One population spawns in the Gulf of Mexico, shown in the top map by orange circles. The other population spawns in the Mediterranean Sea and is represented by white circles. The east coast of North America is a mixing zone for these fish. Currently, we don't really know the percent composition of each population in this mixing zone. One way to determine this would be to tag a fish and trace it for years to see if it enters one of the two spawning grounds. Another way would be to conduct micro-constituent analysis of the individual's otolith. For tagging, you need a lot of time. And for otoliths, you need to dissect the tiny otoliths from the often discarded heads of caught fish. However, with genetics, only a small piece of tissue is required. This could be a fin clip or a piece of a fillet from a seafood market. With this, you can tell what population a fish came from in areas of mixture. Now let's talk about population genetics. Species are comprised of populations which are defined as a group of interbreeding individuals that produce genetically similar offspring. Note that the fish from different spawning areas contain genes represented here by X's and zeros. Spatial overlap will cause mixing of genetically different individuals, but does not necessarily mean that the fish are exchanging genes through breeding. Tagging shows adults return to the same breeding places to spawn each year. Therefore, it is likely that these separate populations will show genetic differences. This homing behavior is called spawning site fidelity. Approximately 6,400 miles separate the Mediterranean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico. Recent genetic studies show that there are, in fact, slight genetic differences between these populations. We are currently establishing genetic profiles for the Gulf of Mexico and Mediterranean populations using 30 DNA markers. These profiles will help us assign fish to a population of origin and help us answer questions such as what is the percentage composition of each population in mixed zones and does this percentage change from year to year. From this we can better understand yearly variations in spawning success rates, population abundance, and hopefully unveil the mysteries of this magnificent fish.